realistic ideas about how they can affect a change now while we're working for the future? Yeah, how can we, how can we battle obesity, I think, is the real question. You know, what you were talking about early on when you just got the microphone, we referred to as the built environment. Uh, in the inner cities, because of crime and other things, people don't go out in the street and walk, they don't go out and play, they don't use playgrounds when they're available. Uh, in the suburbs, uh, because of how they were constructed without sidewalks and long distances to grocery stores, people drive. Uh, everywhere, and so that you've got the reason why you've got lack of exercise in the suburbs, and the reason why you've got lack of exercise in the inner cities. And there are there have actually been some neighborhoods recently that have been constructed. They're trying to actually increase people walking and that sort of thing. If any of you have been to Atlanta, the Atlantic Station, uh, actually there's a CDC grant to study exercise amongst people living in the Atlantic Station. So that's the built environment. The other thing that's happened, I'm a little older than most of you guys see, uh, in 1970, there were 200 McDonald's in the United States. This year, they're going to open 400 McDonald's in China. All right? Uh, and, uh, and fast food did not exist prior to 1965. It literally did not exist. Now in our inner cities, uh, fast food is a meal for usually three to five times a week. Kids in the inner city of Atlanta have fast food as they can eat them. Uh, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of, the market has driven this. You know, the, the soda industry has taken it on the chin for their machines and schools and so forth. Uh, there is a lot, I think physical education needs to teach kids not just exercise, but teach kids a little bit of physiology and science. We, we've lost a great deal of our science education in schools, and the appreciation of science and statistics are really lacking. But one thing we need to teach a kid is how to actually work out. What the important, you know, the importance of getting your heart rate up to a certain point, building physical capacity. A lot of folks who are overweight and out of shape actually don't realize that they're out of shape. 